Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials here on YouTube. But today we are doing a very classic take on a Valentine's Day look. So I've got the bold red lip, I've got the lashes, I've got the sharp winged liner, and I wanted to share that with you today. Now whether it's Valentine's Day for you or it's just a random Wednesday and you wanna feel beautiful, I think this look would be perfect for that and it's achievable whether you are beginner or whether you are advanced. Beginners can just tailor what I'm doing this video to what they're comfortable with. So if you're not comfortable with a full-on red lip like this, go in with something like a balm stain. That would be a great alternative. If you're uncomfortable with really sharp winged liner like this, you can go in with a flat liner brush and a dark shadow and just push it into your lash line to get the overall same effect. So I hope no matter what level you are, you get something out of this video. And if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. So I like to prime my skin about 15 minutes before I start my video so it really sinks in. So today I used my classic Too Faced Hangover RX. This has hyaluronic acid which really plumps the skin. And then I used a little bit of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty that is selling out like hotcakes lately. Not sure what I think about this yet. I might do a video on it. I've never had the Tatcha but I don't know what I think about it yet. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I have a whole video on this if you're interested in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I'll probably fast forward through it and I'll come back here looking a lot less red. So the foundation is on and I'm gonna go in with just a little concealer under the eyes, nothing too much. I'm gonna use a mixture of the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in vanilla and the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 125 Light Natural. So the concealer is on. I went ahead and set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder very, very lightly on a powder brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows at this point. So I'm taking the Anastasia Medium Brown Brow Powder and I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Number 12 brush to just lightly fill in my brows. I want this to look very natural. You could see the mass difference, a lightly filled in brow and then set up, just so you know, I use the Benefit 24 hour brow set. I have not found anything remotely as good as this. I still need to try soap brows at some point. I think I'm gonna love those, but such a difference, looks so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and even these out. So the brows are on and I'm gonna go in and bronze my face. I just want a kiss of bronzer. I'm using the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in number two. I normally go in with Physician's Formula. If you've been with me for a while, you know I love that bronzer, but I think that this works a little bit better when I'm a little less tan. Right now I have no self tan on, so I'm gonna go in with just a kiss of this. I don't wanna go too heavy because I don't wanna look too bronzy. I wanna look nice and natural. This is so good. You guys need to look into this when they hit stores. I'm not sure if they're in stores right now. I bought mine online, but it's just such a beautiful bronze color. And just to make sure there's no harsh lines, I'm kind of blending it out and just swiftly going down the face so that it's not like a harsh, harsh bronze. I want everything again to mesh really nicely together. So the next thing we're gonna go in with is blush since we're basically finishing up the face. I like to do my face before I do my eyes, but please do whatever works for you. If you like your eyes first, go ahead and do that. You can just kind of watch this video in reverse. So I'm gonna go in with the Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose from Milani. If you guys couldn't tell, I really like a lot of what Milani just released, and I think this is a really nice, beautiful, beautiful, neutral type of blush that will flatter a lot of skin tone. So taking that on a Japanese brush and just blushing. <laughs> I'm just gonna run that very lightly. I don't want a pink nose, but just lightly on the nose and the bridge there. And I might even take it through the crease, but I'm not sure about that yet. So what I'm gonna do is quickly spray my face since I have all of my powders on. I just kinda like to give a spritz midway so everything kind of 
settles in and takes that powdery look away and I also like to do that before I highlight. I'm not going to highlight crazy but I am going to highlight like the high points of my cheeks. So I'm just taking the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I prefer my Scandinavia to set at the end because I think nothing compares to that but this is a good kind of mid setting spray if you guys like to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a couple spritzes of this. All right, so to highlight, I'm gonna take my Maybelline X Nikki Tutorials. This looks really good when I'm fair. And I'm just gonna highlight a little bit on my cheekbones. So we'll start there. And I'm not trying to go too heavy here. Just a pretty little kind of glow when I turn my head and I'm bringing that into the brow, just like that. I'm gonna do it on the other side, obviously. And I'm going to take just a little on the bridge of my nose, a little on the cupid's bow, which is always difficult when you have chapstick on. And then with a pencil brush right in that inner corner. And then as always, I just take my sponge and I like to mesh it with the skin by just pressing very lightly on top. So like I said, the focus of this look is going to be on the bold red lip and black liner, but I do want to give my eyes a little definition. So I love this Physicians Formula Classic Nudes Quad for this. I'm going to go in with all three of the brown shades basically mixed on this Wet n Wild brush. I'm going to apply it to where basically my socket is. So if you have hooded eyes, you know when you open your eyes and don't hold them up, your crease is covered. So you can kind of feel where your eye starts to sink in and that's where you want to apply product. It's going to make your eyes look a little bit bigger and then of course a little more defined. So very lightly I'm just going to start to build that area out. You don't want this to look like you have shadow on so I'm holding at the tip of my brush so I don't apply too much product but you can already see the difference here. It's looking like I actually have definition. And I take that right into where my nose starts to contour to really utilize all of my eye lid area. So you could see how much more definition my eyes have by just applying these three colors in the socket and then a little bit on the outer corner. My eyes look larger, I look more awake, and I'm just super impressed by this palette. If you guys don't have just a really simple drugstore, this is $3.99 or $4.99, maybe even $2.99 from Walgreens, you need this. This is so great. Whatever your skin tone is, obviously this won't work for all skin tones, so you'll need to tailor it to whatever skin tone you are. But I I highly recommend these. These aren't even the butter formula from Physicians Formula. They blend out so beautifully and do so much for a look like this. So we're going to go ahead and focus in on the liner at this point. So I'm just taking my Sigma Gel Wicked Liner. It's just basically a black liner and the Sigma E06 brush. This is by far the best brush for hooded eyes because the tip is the smallest I've ever seen. And I'm really just going to start to build up the black liner. I'm I might end up going in with a pencil as well. I have a whole video on winged liner for hooded eyes if you're interested in that. But I'm going to go ahead and scoot in a little bit so you guys can see how I'm going to apply this and the shape I'm going for. So I really just like to first apply it close to the lash line so I get that definition. And you can see how this brush really just gets right in there without a problem. kind of going a little bit thinner and closer into the waterline as I work my way in. All right, again, I just want to show you the difference here of what applying liner looks like, how much more defined this side looks than that side. So if you have hooded eyes and you're scared to do liner, doing a really, really small little wing or, I mean, just 
really tight lining like this makes a huge difference if you're looking for fuller lashes. So I wanted to show you that briefly, but we're going to go ahead in and start to kind of wing it out at this point. And I'm going to not wing it up so high. I'm going to kind of go out a little bit more, but you're going to have to do whatever flatters your eye shape. So practice this and just keep trying to see what flatters you most. I'm going to kind of bring it out and then connect it to the lower lash line, if that makes sense. So I like to kind of place my brush where I want to go. So All right, so the kicker is going to be trying to get these even. We are going to go over this with a black liner as well. Not a liner, a black um, eyeshadow. But as far as shape, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make these even as best I can. Say a prayer for me. <laughs> All right, I think that turned out pretty well. They're obviously not perfectly even because I am a human being and not a robot, but I did wanna show you guys how much I took off as I was going in here. I used this with my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner to clean off the brush a lot because when you're doing fine line work like that, you don't wanna go in with like dry crusted liner and it gets dry pretty fast as you go along and take your time. So I wanted to mention that and then I took a lot off on the back of my hand after I dipped so I didn't go in too heavy if I made a mistake. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the black liner from the James black liner. Why do I keep calling it that? The black shadow from the James Charles palette called Spooky. Super pigmented, so be careful. And I'm just going to touch over everything to make sure that the liner doesn't move and it's set down for the entire day or night whenever you're wearing this. This is also a good time to go in if you've made some mistakes and kind of, you know, touch over if there's any spots that need to be filled in. I think I'm okay, but... There goes the radiator. Here we go again. So I'm going to go ahead and set this liner. Can you see the intensity with the black liner on top of it? Really makes a difference and I think it looks a lot nicer. I like that matte soft look. If you wanted something shiny, you could go in with a liquid liner though. All right, so the liner is set and I'm gonna go in with some false lashes and mascara now. I'm gonna use my Milani Lash Trifecta and then I'm gonna go in with the Kiss Corset Lashes. Let me just show you what these look like. These are dramatic, but if there's ever a look for some dramatic lashes, for me, this is the time. So this is what they look like. To some of you, these might not be dramatic at all, but to me, they are. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera and I will be right back here. All right, you guys, lashes are on. That took way too long. I don't know if I got a dud with those Kiss lashes, but I could not get them to apply to my eye. I don't normally have that hard of a time, and I really do like the Kiss lashes, but I was on the struggle bus with that so hard. So if these aren't perfect, I'm so sorry. I had to stop. So let's go ahead and move on to the lip. So you guys guessed it. I'm using the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon today, classic red. I have a whole video on Lisa's lipsticks. Unfortunately, they're sold out right now, but I will keep you guys posted on when she restocks these. If she restocks these, I think she will, and I think she's going to come out with some more stuff. But these are just the best lipstick formula I've ever used, and if you have these, it would be perfect on Valentine's Day because they last all day, and they are super, super comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this with the NYX Hot Red Liner. All right, lipstick is on. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and set everything at this point with the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. All right, you guys, and this is the completed look. I did want to mention if you didn't want to go as full on as this lip, you could wear obviously any color you wanted. I just think this is like the epitome of like beauty makeup, like traditional old school beauty makeup. But I did want to mention you can either go in with a Lisa Eldridge lipstick with a light hand and kind of tap it and apply it as like more of a stain or the Revlon Balm Stains. This color is romantic, are beautiful. It has kind of a luminous, type of finish and you can reapply as much of you as you want of this and it looks stunning all night long. But this one does obviously as well. The Revlon is just a little less like in your face, but 
I want in your face for this look. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them below. I love to respond and hang out in the comment section with you guys. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.